Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon. I'm Shannon, and this week on your toy review, we're going to be taking a look at the DreamWorks Voltron Legendary Defender Legendary Yellow Lion. So stay tuned. Oh, hey guys, welcome to Comageddon. If you're new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Uh, <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. As I said, this week, we're taking a look at the DreamWorks Voltron Legendary Defender Legendary Yellow Lion from Voltron. Uh, this is the 16-inch Voltron uh, figure. A legendary series form 16-inch Voltron combined all five lines. It does form the left leg of Voltron. Fire armor disc launcher. And there's a look at the back, and you got Hunk here. It says here, the yellow line is the toughest and strongest line with powerful armor and claw attacks. Voltron, defender of the universe. Long ago, a mighty robot warrior, Voltron, was created to protect the galaxy from evil. Now, five young heroes must master the power of the Voltron lions to defeat the Galra Empire and restore peace. So let's go ahead and open this box up and take a look inside. Uh, first things first, it does come in kind of a clamshell type window packaging. So, <clears throat> get a nice little look of Voltron there. The Yellow Lion, Netflix, Playmates, not bad. And it does come with the little catalog and the, the directions, like all the lions. First things first, I noticed there's plastic holding it together and it is just twisty ties so you don't doesn't look like you have to cut anything I did buy this at Walmart um, they are getting keeping uh, the Voltron Lions in stock now from the legendary series there for the longest time it is very hard to find any of the lines at all uh, but now while I was at Walmart they did have the yellow lion, they had the blue lion, uh, and I think they had the green lion as well. Uh, of course, this time around, I could only afford one, so I had to choose the yellow lion. Isn't bad. I would have almost preferred it if they had it to where we cut these off, but all I need is one more lion to complete my legendary Voltron. So next week, I think I'm gonna try and get the blue lion. If they don't have it at Walmart or Target, I'll uh, just have to order it off of Amazon. Oh, there's another. Boy, they don't want you getting inside this thing, do they? And for those of you who don't know, uh, we were privy to a uh, first look at Voltron Legendary Defender Season 3 on Netflix. Um, a, the preview came out on uh, YouTube first for select uh, viewers. Uh, select channels who always review Voltron and stuff like that. We got a first look at the... Uh, preview for season three and then the next day or like two days later or something like that uh netflix uh debuted it uh the there debuted the trailer that was pretty cool uh we got our look at lotor which was pretty much confirmed that lotor is the one uh who helped keith in season two uh for that brief period he had the same armor and everything as 
uh, the character that helped Keith. So I'm pretty sure that that was Lotor. We kind of got to see uh, how Keith is going to be as a leader. So that's going to be pretty cool. So first things first, we've got this little uh, transport thingy that Hunk pilots. Let me turn this light on real quick. All right. So as you can see, it's just like the others, very soft, rubbery plastic. No, pi no paladin in the cockpit. Um, just yellow, blue, and black. And it goes just like the others. Open him up right there. And he just slides right in there just like that. Close it up. Never have to see him again. So. Really like this guy. Uh, as a kid, the only uh, the only member of the Voltron Force I actually had a figure of was uh, were Hunk and Pidge. And they were just the uh, generic looking. Um, almost looked like uh, the mini NECA figures, you know. So, but as you can see, just from looking at him, his head goes up and down. And that's more than likely part of the, uh, oh, and his neck comes out. Give him more. Just like that. Just up and down. And his mouth opens. And it's on a spring. And inside the mouth, it looks kind of like there's a cannon type thing just painted in there. All right. Now, get a little bit more head action, kind of, but this part comes up. Uh, the legs are on ratchet joints, they can go all the way forward up back but they can't go all the way around because this part kind of hinders it um, also ratchet joint there at the knee and at the ankle and that's for both front legs back leg ratchet joint all the way around and then Kind of a uh, slight ratchet joint on the knee and the high knee and the ankle. Right, and that's the left leg seems a little bit looser though. May have to uh, tighten that up. It looks like it's just a. Uh, Standard Phillips head screw may just have to tighten that up a little bit, um, but not bad. Now let's see. Oh, forgot. Before we get into transforming him, let's go ahead. The disc launcher. Uh, how does this peg in? I guess it just. To just slide on there there we go it just clips on and <laughs> so and it comes with one two three four discs clear blue plastic uh, let's take a look at the paint. Uh, not bad on the paint job. Got the yellow, yellow eyes, white, red. Not bad. 
I think I am going to have to invest in the uh, stickers for these to make them make the uh, gray parts silver and give a little bit more of the detail that the original uh, Voltron had. So, but other than that, yeah. Other than that, let's go ahead and transform this guy. Uh, but before we do that, let's, uh, <laughs> I know I'm just, I'm all over the place on this one, guys. I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> so, compared to red and green lion, the yellow lion, it's kind of like the big brother, the older brother of the three. <laughs> uh, also along with the blue line, which I don't have yet. But then, add in there the black lion. Black lion is like big daddy. Big daddy lion. He's like the oldest brother of the group. <laughs> Very nice. Can't wait to get the blue line and complete it. This will be the first time ever that I've had a complete collect and connect Voltron. Um, if you guys remember back in the day, I've told this story many times. Back in the day, the only lion I ever had was the black lion for the longest time. I ended up losing him at one point and never got him back. And now the old school Voltron lions, they're like ridiculously priced. Even the newer, uh, the newer remakes and all, they're just ridiculously priced. Almost $300 for a complete Voltron. It's just, why? Why? <laughs> so, all right. So let's go ahead and move these guys back to the side. And let's form the left leg of Voltron. First things first. Just like with the other lions, legs, hind legs go up. Back legs, or front legs, go in. Just like so. Then the neck pushes up. Tail goes in. Maybe. There we go. This has to be the simplest out of all the lions to uh, transform into their Voltron mode. Uh, not much to it. So, and as I said, he is the right leg of Voltron. I mean, left leg of Voltron. And as you can see, compared to the... Uh, The ultimate Voltron, the yellow lion, is quite a bit bigger. Uh, as with all the other Voltron lions. So, I'm really pleased. As I said, I am going to have to get the uh, stickers for each of the lions. They range from $5 to $20. Uh, once again, the link for uh, Caveman Reviews... Uh, review of the stickers will be in the description below and yeah i mean i'm i'm pretty pleased i mean he, he same articulation as all the others uh just and just a far more simple uh conversion into the left leg of ultron uh not bad though not bad at all i'm uh Pretty excited to get the uh, blue line, finish them off, then I'll get the stickers. And I may even replace this blazing sword with, I may go on eBay and buy one of the original blazing swords. Because I don't really care for this blazing sword. It, it, I mean, it's okay, it looks more like a katana though. It doesn't really look like a blazing sword. I mean, it's kind of got the... Uh, shape here 
of the original Blazing Sword, but yeah, I, I prefer my Voltron to have the original Blazing Sword. Um, so yeah, and to transform him back, you just bring him out, and he's ready to pounce. Like I said, I after I get the blue line and get all the Voltron lines assembled into the uh, legendary Voltron, I will go and uh, I'll order these uh, stickers to make Voltron look more like a fusion between the original Voltron and the new Voltron. Uh, all the gray parts will be silver um, and it'll have the right colors and then uh, it also comes with the piece here uh, that the sticker um, for that is the original cross with the multi colors uh, it has it's multiple stickers but I prefer that one and I think you can make this part here red as well so that's gonna be nice um, so yeah, I will have to do a review on those when I get them. And then I'm going to have to order on eBay the original Blazing Sword. So, thanks for tuning in to Come Again, guys. Once again, I'm Shannon. And tune in next week. Take care. subscribe button make sure you hit the like comment below and share with your friends <laughs> i hate you